sit down? We've done nothing but run around since Scooby Apocalypse issue one. I'm exhausted. We've battled monsters and ghouls and all kinds of vampires. I'm just simply exhausted. It's time to have a nap, get some R&R, &R, and maybe catch up on Scooby Apocalypse issue number nine, which DC Comics sent me for free, which is really, really great, because I don't have any money during this apocalypse time uh, to review and enjoy for you guys. While we're doing that, why don't we get to know each other a little bit better? I mean, I know you guys, but perhaps the people out there don't know you very well at all. Shall I start? Hello, my name's Kaz, and I'm a Scoobaholic. That's someone who's very obsessed with Scooby-Doo, as well as everything Hanna-Barbera. I like my t-shirt, I've got plenty more. And it's my job here at the DC Hanna-Barbera Book Club to inform you guys about all things Scooby Apocalypse. I enjoy coffee, comics, cats, and having a jolly good time. What about you guys? Hi, my name's Velma Dinkley, and I could very well be the cause of the Project Elysium problems. The four mad scientists are in fact my brothers, but I haven't told any of the other members of this mystery squad yet. I've been using my laptop, I found, to break into the Project Elysium webpage and felt very sick at what I'd read. I think it's about time I confess to my friends before things get any worse. Hi, my name's Daphne, and for the first time in a month, I've had a great night's sleep thanks to us bunkering down in an abandoned house in Gardnerville, Nevada. Things are very quiet here, being deserted and all. It's given me time to relax and let my guard down a bit. I think I might even be starting to like Velma. My name's Fred, and there are two things I love in life. The van we acquired from the research facility that I've nicknamed the Mystery Machine. And the girl sitting to my left, that's Daphne Blake. I don't know how many times I've asked her to marry me, but she always says no. I broke my leg recently, so I'm being forced to relax, but the fact is, no one knows how this nanite plague affected humans, and that's starting to stress me out. Where is everyone? Like, talk about being stressed. I hardly slept at all last night. Could it be the seven spam cheese, spinach, and anchovy omelets you ate? <laughs> all the ten cups of coffee you drank? Yeah, like, probably has something to do with it. But Scoob ate all the ice cream and he slept just fine. Even if the dairy did make him fart a lot. Rory! It's okay, Scoob. Right. My name's Rubit, and I'm worried about Roma. Scooby, you should be worrying more about Scrappy Doo who's back on the scene. No, not that one, this one. Holy jolly, look at those muscles. Time has not been good to our friend Scrappy Doo. Things have changed a lot. He's no longer the little puppy we grew to love back in the cartoon. He's a big, muscly cyber dog, thanks to Dr. Velma Dinkley, who he's now after in order to make upgrades to his cyber genetics. It's been a long haul for this little Scrappy Doo, and he's had to make some really tough decisions. In fact, if I'm completely honest with you, <laughs> The final few pages of this comic had me crying like a baby. Who would have thought that Scrappy Doo could make you feel so much? Scooby Apocalypse, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, all right, Scooby fans, it's time to gather up our things and get moving. You never know when a beastie is going to show up. And it's onwards and upwards to issue 10 of Scooby Apocalypse. Thanks for joining me, Nerdburger, for this issue or episode or whatever you want to call it of the DC Hanna-Barbera Book Club. And thanks to DC Comics for sending me Scooby Apocalypse issue 9 to read right now while I was hanging out with the Mystery Squad. I'll catch you guys same bat time, same bat channel next time. Bye!